So guys, welcome back to the Morris Get Fit. And to be honest, you know how long it's been since we did Morris Get Fit episode number eight? I just checked. Mm, Take a while, guess. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> Two months, which was, this is May, so... It's still April. Yeah, April, so back in February. Yeah, February. Back in February, we did our last episode of Morris Fit. And the Morris have not been fit. I pretty much said, fuck it. I can only speak for myself, can't speak for her, but I was going terrible. I had lost almost 16 pounds. And before I got to the point where I said, holy crap, what are you doing? I was back up 14 pounds. So I was just doing whatever. I forgot about this and we didn't do an update because pretty much I was embarrassed and I didn't want to get on camera and say I messed up. But I realized that everybody messes up, right? Yeah. So why not get on here and be honest with you? And plus y'all kept bothering me over and over. Where's the next video? Where's No, y'all not bothering me. Thank you so much for trying to keep us accountable. And it seems like they were actually using us as motivation. And that's another reason. I didn't want to let you down, but I did. But wait, you're not talking. I'm just talking about how much I suck. Tell them about how much you suck. Um, back when we did the last video, I was very, very excited to do the next video because I lost... 18 pounds mm -hmm. I lost 18 pounds and I was super excited to tell you all that I lost 18 pounds but then um, the ones who following us through our Instagram. vlogs and stuff Instagram. know that um, Samira got very sick and there was a lot of stress in the hospitals and um, yeah that stress made me go back to my habit and eat bad food okay but say because eating is not a habit like you chocolate eat it. Yeah. A lot of chocolate for stress and you all know how it is, you're on the road, you're stressed, you're barely at home, you stop somewhere to eat, which was McDonald's a lot, mm -hmm. and um, what you stuff in your face is all that bad food, chocolate, sweets, um, sandwiches, McDonald's, whatever you find on the road. Um, yeah, from this 18 pounds I added 14 pounds back. So yeah, we ain't fit guys. But. We don't want to leave you on a negative note, so I have to honestly say, two weeks ago, yes. we started back. We had to talk about it, say, what yes. are we doing with our lives? This is this is not how we want to be, so we need no. to get back to it. So, if you subscribe to our channel, you know that I was vegan for a really long time, and I decided to stop being vegan, which it wasn't that hard because I slowly started to eat more yeah, meat and did. more things. I like, fucked it up with the ribs. Yeah, she made her ribs, and then since then, I was back to meat. And being back on meat and animal products i decided to do keto um i'm not going to explain what keto is maybe we'll do a video later about what keto is but you should look up keto that's what i'm doing pretty much it's a a few of our subscribers do keto <clears throat> yeah i know that pretty much it's a low carb high fat diet which the whole point of it is to get your body off of running on glucose and get it running on ketones which is produced by your fat that's pretty much what it, what it is and you eat a whole bunch of fat like my my diet or my what i eat in a day is like 75 percent fat and i really enjoy that a few not a few like five years ago i lost a lot of weight which i gained it back but i lost like almost 60 pounds by just eat it. doing keto and i really enjoy it because it keeps me full and i get to eat foods that i enjoy it doesn't really feel like a diet and after like a week you don't even crave like sugar at all so i'm pretty much doing keto and since two weeks i have lost all over five pounds so i'm back on track and i'm doing good and you can talk about what you've been doing i lost six pounds i don't know almost six pounds to during the past two weeks um i tried joining him in this keto for she don't eat me two anymore. days the problem is I'm not into eating meat. Fat meat. She eat um, chicken and like turkey, but she's not into the you. I'm meat with not like a into, lot of fat. Yeah, I'm not into oil. I'm not into fat. Um, so Butter. after two days, my stomach got very upset. I got the worst heartburn ever I had in the world, and I felt sick. It, which it wasn't the keto flu. It was just my stomach was upset. Can I say something? Yes. Special? But that goes to show you that a diet that works for me don't have to work for her no, so don't ever let anybody tell you keto is the way is the way or vegan no. is the way or low sugar is the way like you have to find a diet that fits for you and that you can live with yes and i was trying to make veganism 
into my diet and it just doesn't work for me at this point in time with the goals that I'm trying to do. Maybe I'll go back in a year or so, I don't know, but to lose weight, I know that keto works for me. Okay. Yeah, it did not work for me. Um, my stomach got upset. I'm not handling this fat very well. Even if it's healthy fat, I'm not handling it very good. So I was thinking, what can I do? And I did the no sugar challenge a while ago. And I actually enjoyed eating healthy, which I like vegetables, I like fruit. That's my kind of diet. So I'm back on no artificial sugar. No added sugar at all, which I eat natural food, I eat vegetables, I eat eggs, I eat fruits, I eat yogurt, cheese. Just no added processed That's sugar. That's pretty much it. No fructose I'm not, sugar, no normal no, sugar. No, no added sugar and um, not really so much meat because I'm not into it. I'm eating meat but like once in a week, guys. So pretty much vegetables and fruits and dairy and, dairy and eggs and yeah. Yes. But I lost almost six pounds in two weeks now, so and I feel good. This is the way to go, I think, for me because when I grave sweets, I just eat some fruits. Yeah. yeah, so this video is to let you guys know that we are officially back. Thank you for all the comments because they have been coming a lot. Sorry after. for fucking up. Don't say sorry, like it's a live and a learn. Like, this won't be the last time that we mess up. I just know it won't go two months before we get back on track. No, this was like. The situation was just bad. And so. No, we can't even blame it on the situation because we have seven kids plus me, plus you, plus two dogs, plus two cats. There will always be something. We can't keep blaming on true, the situation. True, I could have went for apples instead for McDonald's. Yeah, true. So we are didn't. done with the excuses. We are back. Let us know how you guys have been doing since the new year because we mm -hmm. started this around the new year. And one more thing. I promise, we promise, you will get the Morris Gets Fit episodes at least twice a month, every two weeks, because I don't want to do it every week, because I don't want to sit here every week yeah. and talk about it. But every other week, you will get an episode letting you guys know whether we did good, or whether we did bad, or whether yes. we stayed the same. And we will keep the camera with us um, to show you what we're doing good and what we're doing bad, what we're eating, what we're exercising, and what we're fucking up with. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Morris Gets Fit episode 9. If you did, don't forget to like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And until next video, peace out. Hi guys, my name is Mia. I can't talk yet, but if you think I'm cute, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah.